William Marshall was born in England around 1147 at a time of unrest. The kingdom was in the grip of a ruinous 15-year-long conflict as King Stephen struggled to resist his cousin Empress Matilda's attempts to seize power. Both possessed strong claims to the realm, so the country was divided in its allegiance and spiralling towards anarchy. One medieval chronicler described this as a period of great strife and disorder, in which England was plagued by war and the law of the land was disregarded. Great swathes of the landscape were left scarred and ravaged, such that one could go a whole day's journey and yet find only empty villages and untilled land. Amid such desolation, the wretched people died of starvation. One contemporary admitted that in these years many said openly that Christ and his saints were asleep. Yet for all the chaos and horror of this era, there were those who prospered during the Civil War. With the collapse of Crown authority, local warlords were left in many regions to impose some semblance of order, and this power was often abused by the predatory and the unscrupulous. One such was William's father, John Marshall, a nobleman of middling rank with a lordship centred in England's West Country. By birth, John was not English or Anglo-Saxon, but a French-speaking Norman. Back in the 10th century, his Viking ancestors, known then as the Northmen, had settled in a region of northern France that came to be known as Normandy, literally the land of the Northmen. They embraced some of the customs of their new homeland and even adopted French or Frankish names, but remained warlike and land-hungry. In 1066, their leader William, Duke of Normandy, William the Conqueror, led an invasion force across the English Channel and scored a stunning victory at the Battle of Hastings. This Norman triumph left England's last, short-lived Anglo-Saxon king, Harold Godwinson, and the cream of his ruling nobility, dead on the field. In its wake, William assumed the crown of England, while retaining control of Normandy. An Anglo-Norman realm was forged, and it was in this cross-channel world that William Marshall would be raised. In some respects, 1066 marked a decisive break with the past. William the Conqueror established a new and enduring royal dynasty, and England's native peoples suddenly found themselves the subjects of foreign invaders. King William I distributed land north of the Channel to some 150 Norman warlords and officials, and together they pacified the realm through brute force and threw up an extensive network of imposing castles to secure their authority. John Marshall's father, Gilbert Giffard, literally meaning Gilbert Chubby Cheeks, was one of these early Norman settlers who came to England during the first wave of conquest or in its aftermath. By the time of William I's great doomsday survey of landholding in 1086, Gilbert held territory in the western county of Wiltshire. He also served as the Royal Master Marshal, an ancient military office traditionally associated with the care and maintenance of the king's horses, which over time developed into an administrative post largely concerned with the day-to-day -day running of the court.